So finally, is government of India launching its first ever cryptocurrency? So government of India believes in crypto. Wait, wait a minute. Is CBDC even a cryptocurrency? Watch this video and just get cleared all of your doubts about the digital rupee that is CBDC. Stay tuned. First of all, what is digital rupee? So we have been doing numerous transactions per day through mobile wallets, through UPI, through bank transfer, through NEFT and many more. And these methods are kind of too uh, convenient for us as well as we, are, we have been habituated with this method. So it's like too easy for us. Then what's the purpose of Indian government for launching CBDC that is digital rupee? And what is digital rupee? How is it different from our pre-existing methods and why it is necessary? CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, also called as digital rupee and also called as e-rupee. So this CBDC is the digital currency issued by the Reserve Bank of India. Reserve Bank of India which works similar to our pre-existing pre system of physical notes and not the existing system of UPI, mobile wallets and this bank transfer and many more. So yeah, so it is similar to the physical notes that is uh, the way in which our physical note system works, this CBDC, uh, this CBDC will also work. For example, uh, do you need help of any bank while transacting, like while having any offline transactions in your everyday life, like while giving physical notes? No, right? Can any bank or any centralized server interfere in your matter for having like while having a offline transaction? No, right? And do you share your information about the offline offline transactions with bank? No, right? So the exact similar way CBDC, that is digital rupee will work. No need of any bank, no need of any uh, centralized server, no need of sharing any information with the bank, nothing. Basically, uh, it is kind of a replacement for the physical note system. But why do we need the replacement for cash system? Are there any problems associated with it? Yeah, of course, there are many problems associated with the cash system and hence government came up or is in the process of coming up with this idea of CBDC. Like the problems with the cash systems are many. First of all, it is costly to print. Yeah, it is costly to print. So the rates per note is given here, you can check. So it is costly to print. Then there's fear of theft because there's no chip in the note. There's no chip in 2000 rupees, 500 rupees note that it will tell anyone that that note is here and there's bunch of notes dug under the ground, nothing. So there's fear of theft, then duplicate notes, problem of duplicate notes and the main problem corruption. And that's the reason why we need some some improvement in this cash system. So CBDC can address this problem. But one more question arises: How CBDC can address this problem, and also how it works? Here, in the case of CBDC, you will have to install its app. Where you will have a wallet which will contain the different different notes like rupees five note, rupees ten, rupees twenty, fifty, hundred, two hundred, such similar notes. Then. The same case will be with the other paper like they will also have to install its app then have a wallet and the process then the way you transfer using upi like you enter the receiver's id then you, you enter the money and then pin and money gets transferred from your bank to their bank the same case will be with cbdc but in this case no need of any bank yeah there won't be need of any bank just from this wallet to that wallet and money gets transferred. No need of any bank, no need of sharing your information, no need of any mediators, centralized authorities, nothing. But without the help of any bank, how this will be done? No bank, right? How this will be done? I told you, this will be done using blockchain technology. Yes, blockchain technology. That's why I told you, the technology, technology is here, is here to stay. stay. Blockchain, blockchain is here, here to stay, stay. and, and Web3 Web3 is here to stay. So with the help of blockchain technology, this will be done. Oh, so
so cbdc is a crypto right no no cbdc is not a crypto but cbdc is using the technology which crypto uses that is blockchain yeah so that's why there won't be any concerns about the market ups and downs any volatility market crash ftx collapse luna crash anything there won't be any concerns uh, like the value of rupee will remain the same it won't go 30% up 30% down in a single day no the value will be re uh, will will remain same that's why and that's why it is not a crypto and as it is using the blockchain technology there are many more benefits than physical system or this even this upi because it is using blockchain <laughs> yeah it is using blockchain and the main core principles of blockchain that is like privacy yeah so the privacy will be at its most yes because no banks no centralized authorities will be able to have access to our money they won't have any access to our data um, also they won't be able to track our money track our data track our location anything except except rbi yeah because it is the one who is providing it so privacy will be almost at its most then there won't be any transaction cost associated with it like there's no need of any bank or any centralized authority so there won't be any uh, transaction cost associated associated with it but you also must be thinking that upi also upi also doesn't have any transaction cost right yeah it is true it is true and that's the reason why this upi apps like okay i would name it but upi apps are in the loss because upi doesn't uh, have any transaction cost and people are simply using it for free and that's why it is not giving any money to this mobile apps and that's the reason why upi may also start charging transaction fees hopefully cbdc doesn't have any as of now it is said that cbdc won't have any transaction cost no it is not said but it will have yeah it won't have it won't have then also it is better for government like for the tracking money that chip method chip yeah so it will be better for the government to track money and corruption because they will have uh, what data about like where the money is being used and where it is not used for example like in the case of any government yojana or schemes the money will be directly sent to the beneficiaries wallets like that digital wallet wallets by the rbi and the intermediaries such as officers politicians and tehsildars or uh, any officers any politicians won't be able to interfere with it, with it and get benefit and also the people who got the money like the beneficiaries of that yojana of that scheme will also not be able to spend the money on anything apart from the purpose for which it is given uh, it will be just like the vouchers we used today like mintra vouchers or uh, crypto vouchers and etc but as of now we are not sure like how the system will work and will apply this thing but let's keep attention on the rbi's next step towards this digital rupee e rupee cbdc and let's get to know what really happens and for that just subscribe to my channel just keep the subscription button pressed and i'll be updated uh, i will update about you uh, i will update you about that hmm. all right so this was all about cbdc it's working and its benefit but you know what here everything is controlled by rbi like the boss is rbi and who controls rbi government of india right government of india means politicians right so there can be major problems associated with this too right so if you want a video where we'll discuss about the drawbacks of this system then do let me know in the comment section and also don't forget to share this with uh, share this with your friends your family members because they also need to know about this digital rupee e rupee or cbdc and if you are watching it late then that video will appear here make sure you give it a go and so that's it so as in the next one bye